Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use the data trace, but in continuous mode. First of all, it's found in Configuration and Setup. Under Data Trace, you can right click, select Add. I've already added one. I've renamed it. Again, the main purpose of this is to that you can uh, save several different logging setups. So what's going on here is I've, we're going to change it to continuous. We can log again by uh, every period, time, or sampling instruction. In this particular case, to me it makes more sense to use time. And let's say I log once a second. I'm allowing so many samples per file and I allow a maximum file size. This continuous log to me is, is meant to run a little slower but for longer periods of time. Um, maybe to see what's going on with temperature or motor temperature or something that's a little bit longer than a few seconds. You can see we could also set it up for, let's say, one hour and one minute. Then we might have to bump up the number of samples. Oh, there's a maximum. And that must be it. What to do when we're done? Um, we can delete, start over, or just stop tracing. We can tell it where to save the file. We can also give the files a prefix, which might help us figure out what they are later on. Um, you'll notice that there's the only limit on when it will stop logging in this case would be the maximum sampling time because it just creates new files and keeps going. This, this one actually seems like a better uh, application for starting tracing when switching from program to run mode. You turn it on, you're looking for something that is, I don't know, overheating, something. We know how to add the variables. You hit the plus sign, you type them in or copy them from the program, a garbage can to get rid of them. So now we want to trace. So we hit start. and it is tracing. Let's hit stop and bring it back. There's our samples. Now this this particular uh, type of data logging it makes more sense for this section of the screen where you can play it back. Pause it. Maybe blow it up a little. Hit play again. Hit pause. Get it in the middle of the screen. Blow it up. Bring it down to where I can see what I need to see. Maybe the difference between that one and that one. And that's when these tools here come in more useful. This, of course, is an overview of where you are in your log. This will also come in handy. Instead of showing milliseconds since beginning of log, you can actually show the actual time. Again, for temperature, this might make more sense. You're looking for some time of the day that something went wrong. With this type of log, we can tell it to refresh the screen while logging. And this comes in handy sometimes. It's thinking. Now it's logging. 